An angry crowd gathered on the steps of the Hall of Justice today to demand justice for two men shot and killed by San Francisco police. KPI X5's Ken Bastida is in the newsroom with more. Ken. Elizabeth, the protest follows the district attorney's decision not to charge the officers involved in those two shootings. Mario Woods was killed in the Bayview December 2015 after police say he refused to drop a knife that he had just allegedly used to cut another man's arm. Four months later, police in the mission say they were forced to shoot Luis Gongora Pat after he came at them with a knife. Police say that both men were high on meth and resisted all non-lethal tactics that they tried first. On Thursday, District Attorney George Gascon announced that he could find no evidence to prove the police officers' actions were unjustified. There can be no change if there's no punishment. There has to be some punishment now for these officers to know and for other officers to know that we're not going to stand by and allow this to happen. At today's press conference by the families, the mother of Mario Woods had a blunt message for those officers. You may have gotten off for this one, but there's a higher judge, and trust I'm praying that you get yours. Uh, the, the DA, Gascon, himself admitted that he was disappointed in the outcome. His office is now backing a proposed state law that would create stricter standards for the use of lethal force. What we believe that will actually ultimately do is, is result in police officers being trained um, in a manner that actually protects both police officers and the communities that they serve. A current San Francisco Police Chief Bill Scott has also promised reforms to the department's use of force policy focused on de-escalation techniques.